Welcome to our journey through the fascinating world of manufacturing and recycling. Today we'll explore the intricate processes behind the creation of everyday items and how we can give new life to old materials. When you look around today, you'll notice that most things are made of iron because it possesses high strength and is the fourth most abundant element in the Earth's crust. Various molding methods are used in the production of its products. This machine shapes the metallic unit into a round shape by using the ring rolling technique. A glass room operator ensures that these molded pieces are in the desired shape. Ring rolling is now widely used for seamless machining bearing rings, hubs, flanges, thin wall cylinders, and many other components. You may have your own reasons for throwing out that old mattress of yours, but did you know that 90% of them can be recycled? Every day, hundreds of mattresses are delivered to the Rehouse Recycling Facility. First, the metal within the mattress is detected and removed. The covers are then removed and the remaining foam is cut into blocks. These foam blocks are then shredded further into small pieces for chemical recycling. Chemical recycling is a process of separating polyurethane foam from its original chemical raw materials. The polyol can be obtained using a specific chemical recycling technology known as glycolysis, which can then be used to make a new foam. Computer numerical control, better known as CNC, has revolutionized the world of manufacturing. In this clip, you can get a glimpse of it here. These machines produce large spiral bevel gears, and the CNC technology helps for all grinding and turning operations. Glint Gurs C300 is the world's most giant phase H-ping machine, ensuring reliable cutting. Moreover, experts put each unit through extensive physical testing. Music, music. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to hit that notification bell to get notified when we release new content. Music. The House LVRM is a universal roller bending machine primarily used for turning large metal sheets into cylindrical shapes. Here you can see it applies 600 tons of force to bend a 30 meter long and 3 meter wide metal sheet. The upper and lower hydraulic supports determine the diameter of the cylindrical ring. Once the sheets get into the form of a ring, it is welded together by an expert hand. The prepared rings are used in the construction of large sized equipment. Last but not least, you will see how Midas manufactures its tires. First off, the rubber compound is heated and calendared by machines. Then the yield is put through extruder machines. Extrusion yields it into a continuous rubber sheet. These sheets are then cooled and cut to a tire length. Next, a coating machine is used for coating both sides of nylon, steel, and polyester with rubber. These sheets are placed under the tread of the tire. Next, the bead core of the tire is formed by aligning steel wires with rubber. A bead wire prevents vibrations during driving. The mixed compound is also used for rubber coating. Next, all the components are assembled using a tire builder drum. Lastly, tires are placed in a mold and pressed by a machine. This process takes two hours for an agricultural tire. Before dispatch, it is further tested for quality insurance. For over 50 years, a Japanese corporation has been producing the finest knives globally. You can see the process of production too. The blades are made from pure cadmium and melody. Due to high demand, the company uses a press-out method, but special orders deal with traditional Japanese techniques. Todd's well-trained and skilled staff craft every piece by hand. The welding method is given particular priority. Finally, the labeling of each knife is also achieved by hand. Music. 
Next up from China RCM, we have some rotary friction welding. Here they weld two axles at once onto a single component by spinning up two pieces of metal and forcing them into contact. The two create an enormous amount of heat. This heat is enough to actually melt the area where the two make contact, and in doing so, the two pieces of metal can music. Actually, the metals become welded together. They shear off the excess that forms at the end to make a cleaner looking product. Next, from a Luplast, we have some PVC extrusion. Extrusion is a manufacturing technique useful in the creation of products, especially plastic products, that have a long continuous shape with a constant cross-section. The cross-section is what you see when you cut something and look at the resulting face. The product we're looking at here, for example, is meant to evenly support a window along its edge. Music. From the SMS group, a look into the impressive processes involved in the metal industry. The processes of the metal industry are incredibly demanding. Extremely precise tolerances with the ability to handle hellish heats are essential. From forging down to forming, everything must be done just right. Music. Another example of friction welding comes from a mount. Here we get a more up-close look at the process. When the two metals are forced into contact, residual is formed as the molten metal is pushed towards the outside. This creates a sort of double ring effect of red-hot excess material that can be used as an indicator to determine when the job is done. Once the metal has cooled down, the process is now complete. Music. A braiding machine interlaces three or more strands of yarn or wire to create a variety of materials, including rope-reinforced hose-covered power cords and some types of lace. Fiat 96113 is designed for bridging the carbon fiber. It has 96 carriers on the head which lets you braid a mandrel with 500 by 500 by 1000 mm dimensions. No doubt this machine is worth buying and cost saving. With a hydraulic tube bender you can make handrails race car chassis, roll cages and much more. It is faster and more precise than manual models and saves physical effort. This bender machine doesn't require any human force. You just have to put the steel tube in the right way and wait for the bending process. It costs less than you would spend on a programmable tube bender. Laser technology is evolving and transforming industrial processes. For example, removing burnt carbon from glass molds has never been easy. There are various chemical and ultrasonic solutions available, but none are as quick as laser technology. It cleans an impressive amount in a single pass, as if there was nothing there to begin with. It also saves a significant amount of time and money. Two layered corrugated pipes consist of a smooth inner wall and an external spiral wall. They are made out of high-density polyethylene. The tube is made by winding a corrugated profiled outer layer of high-density polyethylene on a smooth inner layer that is extruded and welded in continuity. The presence of a profiled hose in the outer layer significantly improves the pipe strength. As a result, P10PE Spiro pipe can be manufactured in a variety of stiffness classes.